you guys, it's Melody Lane. I'm gonna show you how you go from this, the Cricut drew this out for me, and then I watercolored it. And you can't see the lines. We're also giving away a Cricut Bright Pad and weaving tools, so make sure you watch. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. So here's the Cricut Bright Pad. I used this in order to color this and create that. I used Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. They're watercolor markers, so it looks like I actually watercolored it, doesn't it? I did this video live on Facebook. It took three and a half hours. I'm gonna show this at the end of this video where you can see me from start to finish coloring the entire things 20 times faster than what I actually did it. Or you can watch the entire video where I talk about what colors I'm using and why I'm doing some things and how I did some things. And a link to that video will be in the description below. It's in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. Now somebody asked while I was doing that, why am I not just coloring this? The reason I didn't just color this is because I wanted it to look without the lines. I didn't want the lines to be shown because anyone can just color the picture. I wanted it to look like I actually did it myself without coloring. Although I did just really color the picture. Let me show you how I did it. So here's the bright pad. I used the Bristol Paper Vellum Surface. It's 100 pound. And there'll be a link to this in the description also. And here's a piece of that paper. So what I did is I put washi tape around this and you'll see in my video on Facebook and the part that I go fast, I only did the corners, but then as I moved it around, I found out they were not sticking as well. So I suggest doing all the sides like this. I just put this on here, taped it to the paper. I'm gonna write on. And then I colored right on top of this. You'll see throughout the video of me coloring it, I did turn this on and off so I could see what it looks like. And something I found out during the video, you might wanna use scotch tape or some kind of different adhesive because the washi tape did not stick that well. So here's what I was doing. I had this on while I was coloring, but then I would also turn it off so I could see what it looks like with it off without the lines. If you watch the coloring section at the end of this video, you could also take this and laminate this piece so you can use it over and over and over. And there's lots more images like this in Cricut Design Space. Now to find this image and others like it, you can go to images. And then I searched over here for draw. And all of these came up. You could do the same as I did with any of these images. I think I might want to do that squirrel or that fox next. Here's the one I did. But you can see there's many. See all these? This is from the Edge to Edge 2 cartridge, which is free in access. So all the images in Edge to Edge 2 also have drawing. Look at this one. Dimensional Scenes Fairy Tales. I've never seen that one. Totally gonna have to look at that one. But let me show you what cartridge. Here's another one. Dimensional Scenes Fairy Tales. So pretty. Gonna have to look at that one. Okay, this one comes from Color Happiness. So let's click on it to see what the other ones on that image set look like. There's 12 images. This is the one I did with Adventure. And there's Sparkle, Imagine, Spooky, Hello, and just different fun images to color. Okay, let's bring these in. That is really cute to color, and it has the different lines colored already, so you can change your ink pen, and you'll know what color to color it. Or you can just do it all with one color. Hide this one for now, and let's look at this one. How cute. Oh, I might just have to do this one. 
So it's so easy to do and these are free in Cricut Access. Let me hide this one for now. So many people ask me how I did this. All I did was bring this to my canvas. I blacked out the cutting because I don't, I didn't want it to cut out. I just wanted it on a piece of paper and I went to make it. And then I moved this out just a little bit so it wouldn't be all the way up in one corner and I was just using eight and a half by 11 copy paper. So I just moved it out a little bit and hit continue. I put the Cricut 0.4 fine tip pen in my Cricut Explore Air 2 on fast mode. I think I put my dial on vinyl. It didn't really matter what setting it was because it wasn't cutting. It was only drawing. And now you can see it draw. If you haven't seen my unboxing of the Cricut Light Pad, click the card up in the corner and you can see that video of me unboxing it. One of the hardest things to weed is the glitter iron-on. So I show you how to do that with the Bright Pad. You see me unbox and use all the tools in that video also. And make sure you enter the giveaway by commenting under this video on YouTube. Comments on Facebook won't enter you into the giveaway. You have to comment by July 28th at noon Eastern time to be in the giveaway. I'll announce the winner on Saturday, July 29th in my live Design Space video. Every Saturday, I do a live Design Space tutorial at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I have a program that will randomly pick a winner from the comments, and then Cricut will send the weeding tools and the bright pad to one random winner. So don't forget to subscribe, like my video, share it with your friends, and comment below to enter the giveaway. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. And then watch me color this. Jane, Sean, Tanya, Kathy, Noel, Susan, Kathy, Melissa, Deidre, Shayla, Mayor, Paula, Tanya, Melanie, Carolyn, Mary, Beverly, Tina, Yvonne, Linda, Kelly, Gloria, Marcia, Nancy, Darlene, Carol, Shannon, Tony, Delita, Goldie Ann, Linda, Valerie, Audra, Lee, Sherry, Barbara, and Donna. Thanks guys so much.